How there folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are in October now and it is time to harvest the sugar beets. However, we've got some stuff to do. We've hit the pad limit or did. So what we've gone and done is move the honey that we spawned over to the apple factory so we get more apple honey. It was around 2700 years a couple of it, so I think one thing we need to do for now is get all these pads loaded up so we've got our apple juice and honey loaded up. Now what we need to do is start moving the strawberries over and we've got a fair few of these so whilst getting these loaded up, as you may have noticed we're back up to 135 grand. And that is purely from doing contract work, and yeah, we've had some fun with that, so... Once I get it sewed up, to show just a couple of little short clips and a screenshot of us doing set contracts, and we explain what exactly has happened, because we've had a glitch with the cotton harvest contracts. So, yeah, as you see, it's been pretty hectic because we did the con contracts. And either it wasn't going to the sell point we were asked to put it in. So, things like when it said, oh, send it to the value view stores. So, fair enough, take it to value view stores. And absolutely nothing happened. So, I thought, okay, maybe a little glitch. So, maybe it's value view bells because it is a con bell at the end of the day. But then that's just the old thing, so after I have to do some tests and work it out. So here, yeah, pretty much we've maybe slightly over profited from those contracts, like in terms of the amount we've got, but also there was like excess cotton as well from the harvester and that. And that's the thing as well, because when we did it last year, we used the equipment from said farmer use our own equipment, so maybe that's the difference of where this time we borrowed a, did borrow a cotton harvester from the dealership. You know what, honestly, I don't know. Also, we had sugar beets to do, and actually that, that was good, because we did test out the topper we had, and it was, they were, because it was a potato topper, not a, because I thought a cotton topper is a cotton topper, regardless if it's for sugar beets or potatoes. As it turns out, it is not. So, yeah, we have to treat that in for the one you normally have. I was still thinking we should have gone with like a self-propelled unit, but yeah, at the moment it's just finance. It's like, yeah, we're up to 135 grand. Again, that's good. But remember, we still need to purchase the cookie factory to get all the cookies and that. Get the butter and chocolates in. That's like 75 grand, I think. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty hectic. Also, the grass is ready, so we can do that. I'm also thinking of, what's just a little bit tight. I was even planning on doing like corn and that next year and that soybeans. So I'm thinking the field beans that we and soybeans that we harvested, well, sorry. Just the field beans, because the soybean field is now alfalfa. I think for the other fields we can do grass or even alfalfa again. I think I'm more inclined to go with grass, because then what we can do is get TMR, because I doubt it's going to grow and get a cup for December and that, so. I think what we could do then instead is maybe on the lines of I don't know, harvest it or bait it like in March. 
February, March time, whatever, it starts growing again. And it's ready, and then just get a little cheeky sell then. Yeah, it won't be SP price, but better than nothing. Better than just seeing the field as it is. And then it's getting as well, we get a frozen seat from the grass, so yeah. That's some options for us, so what I'm going to do now is quickly just quick jump cut, get all this loaded on, and then we'll take this into storage. So with that sorted, we've got a lot of pallets here, 23,000 litres of strawberries, 8,000 litres of apple juice, 5,000 litres of apple honey, 1,400 litres of tomatoes and mixed salad. Along with our finally our first pallet of clothes, that's going to be worth a fair little bit. And 4,000 litres of wool. So yeah, all this is going to go into storage. The wool we're fine for now when it comes to the clothes production. So yeah, really... Yeah, I think we don't need any more at the moment in there. All the things we do need is, actually, from the glitches of our animals, and they do need water, so... We have a look at our animals. Go up here, so yeah, for the best part, okay. Do you need water in that? Uh, they're fine for now. But yeah, rabbits, they're out. And yeah, our cows at Stonebridge also needs water, so... That's one thing we need to do, is give everyone some delicious water to have. But yeah, we'll do that after we put all of this into the pallet facility, so... There we go, just going to turn there. And yeah, with the money as well, 135 grand, we did have 145. But we paid 10 grand for access to the mower setup. And the... well, initially the cotton harvester, but obviously the cotton harvester we've already returned. But we've already put a damn paint on, because I thought I was going to use it for a bit longer, but... Because of the glitches and that, I just left it, so... We still have 10 grand for the mower now, for the Chrome Big M450, whatever it is. Not too bad. There we go, that's all the pads in. And if we have a little quick cheeky cheeky look... 78 pallets, and we're just starting to hit the second row. I got one, how many rows we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows, so not even a quarter full yet, which makes sense. 17 out of 450. But still, when it comes to time to sell, it is going to be worth it, especially with things like apple juice, that's going to be worth a fair bit. Got six pallets of eggs, that's going to be worth a fair chunk. Actually, when it's like eggs now, it's best price. So I'm pretty confident on everything else, but yeah, clothes for the nose gonna be April, yep. Cakes and all that. Oh yeah, I forgot to grab those. Actually they're worth they're at their peak now. Ah, so actually we can make some quick money, so car and center for that. And this yeah, so you know what? Let's grab some cakes a sec and sell them. Not sure how much we're gonna get, but yeah, ten by now, and this is gonna go up even more. Last thing, I think it's gonna go up even more than it is at the moment. So I think I should all oh, wait, wait till December, and then we sell the breads and the cake at the same time, along with the flour. So, cause yeah, flour like two grand, like. Technically we've hit that at the cookie cell station. But yeah, we're gonna get a lot of money from all this, but one thing we need to do now is one grab all the cakes and bread that loaded up, taking over here. And all we need to do is feed not feed. Give our animals all the fluids they need, so yeah. I think the best way to get it done is a little quick time lapse, so yeah. We'll get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
with that, that sorted, and let's have a little look here because I have spent some money, about five grand, to get this in. This is a water tank that we put in. Well, the tank is a liquid silo, but this is our water tank, so we're going to transport everything back and forth and pick it up from the pond in that. Full, just sort some water in here, so we've done several trips. We've got 400,000 a year, so. That's going to be enough for the time being to keep everything topped up with our animals. And actually for the foreseeable future actually I think with that, so... But yeah anyways, pop back into here, and we get us back to the farm. And I think we can start filling this up with some Surrey, because I don't need any more water for now, so... We can top this up with Surrey, and then come towards like December time we'll sell some. Even though I want to look into maybe using like our manure and slash or Surrey to get some like digestate now because if we convert our manure to digestate we only gonna get some huge profits from that but dams to what production it is, how much it is, and like the quantity required doesn't need anything extra. But yeah, there's a couple of options we do have. But yeah, I'm gonna have to wait and see. I think I've got some mods enabled. So yeah, we can have a quick look at that. There we go. Just back this up over here. Small little clip in. Nothing to worry. But yeah, having these two tankers here are useful because we have one for Surrey and all that stuff. And the other one is just for milk. Yes, yeah, this will be slightly. No, I don't want that. Ooh, I didn't realise we had a water field point here. That's new information to me. Ah, I didn't realise this was a water field point. We get 8,000 a year, so not too bad, I guess. Yeah, just park this up over here, right close. And yeah, I don't think I've topped up for a while, maybe, so. Do a top in the milk up, so. Excuse cow, move out of the way. Thank you. So we've got 11,000 litres of milk. And that's going to be important because we need to make sugar and all that stuff. So what we're going to go with is go to our factories. Ah, where is it to? This one here, the cookie factory. We do have some variety of options, like high output and that. Actually, go with that one. I think, yeah, go with this one here. So, obviously we can make sugar now, can make butter, chocolates and that. And there is an option for flour and that, but we're going to use that. Pure use is going to be for the cookies. And making things like butter maybe chocolate and sugar so that is 72,600 so as long as we have that amount left we should be golden so for the beat technology stuff we need a tractor around for a George power so that would be like the Massey I think or John Deere I think let's use the Massey where's that two ah it's over here where the alfalfa is and now, since that is grown, we can put the next application of fertilizer down. So yeah, we returned the other one that we had. But yeah, I'm thinking, if if our feels like we've just done with so with the not soybeans, the field beans, Emily, come on. We'll put grass in that because yeah, if we do grass now. Have a look here, crop candor grove. We can plant grass now, and that should be ready March slash April. And that's fine because corn and all that ain't going to be needed till April that we can plant it. So I think it makes the most sense to do that actually, because then we can get that little extra silage. And again, with all of it, we're going to bathe it in on that. So. But I don't think we're going to do the grass now, because even though our grass is technically ready now, 
we have a look. There are those bits there that those stupid workers destroyed, so... Yeah, I may come back to that later on. If anything, we can do that in November, because I think still cut it at any time. Brass, yep. Cut that at any time of the year, so... <coughs> so that's an option for us. Well, yeah, so, better be a sec, whilst I get done. And then we'll start looking at the shooting stuff. And that is the fertilizing done, didn't take us too long. Just thought we'd just do a quick jump cut, right around 10 the time lapse, because... Well, this is going to be like a 20 second or so time lapse, if I even hands. See me done for always before, this is the last episode, so yeah, sort of space out a bit. So, what we need to do now is go to the shop and yeah, get everything so we can go right here. Yeah, I think we'll go right. Should Cut through the hedgerows, heck it, why not? Just do a little bit of cheeky streamlining of everything. And of course, across our Hebrews fields. I was thinking, consider getting more fields than that in the future, but I think at the moment we're fine and we're just about coping with everything. It's just when it comes to, when you know, plant everything and that, do rolling stuff. That's when all the time is eaten up, so... Actually, what's we're here? What? Screw it. I'm gonna dump that here. Actually, no. I'm gonna leave that here anyways, because we need... That trailer. We can use the trans, maybe, but... Uh, it's gonna be awkward. I think even still, regardless... <coughs> it's gonna be awkward anyways, pulling whatever it is. I think actually you can. Maybe the E4 can just about do it. But yeah, I think you can choose the Massey. Got a bit of extra horsepower on hand, so when we're going up the slope on this field, because 4 E5 is a bit of a slope, goes up a hill gradually from the bottom to the top. Or if we're looking at it from top down, so north to south. It was up and significant amount of elevation change, so... Actually, whilst we're here, let's go and have a look at our flower, how much we've got. Man, that bag is filled up. And... 88,000 litres of flour, so... Yeah, it was definitely worth getting that big bag for it. Actually, look at that here. The Roy is almost out. And yeah, besides from that, it's actually looking very good. So yeah, I think the choices of reducing the pallet sizes has been worth it, especially for like the bread and cakes. Yeah, more of it. So we can actually set it ourselves. We're having to how to get someone set up for us by a third party. That means at the price we can get, I think it's only around like 8% we can get, so that 20% is key, because at the moment we got debt snap, I think, what was it, four, six hundred grand? I think it was like six hundred grand, our debt is. I think it's six hundred because we increased our debt by two hundred grand to get a new field. So yeah, so what, six hundred grand to pay off, and even though I'm in a rush to pay it off, it's not paying some of it now. But we need production, so we need the cookie factory, and also we need our production to produce uh, produce like logistic like, that from our manure and slurry either or so yeah that's the sugar wheat field I see what I mean it goes up a significant climb so this is going to be fun to deal with because I don't know how this is going to go but anyways we'll give it a shot never say never so, right, that's there, so... Also, I think with the Massey as well, it's red on red, almost. Yeah, different shades and all that stuff, whatever, but... Overall, it's not too bad. There we go, let's get that hooked up. There 
go bang. So yeah, I want to see how this all works out. The only downside is with this, if we miss bits, then yeah, we need to go over again with the hard service. Let's like, say if we turn around, what's the hard topper is in the so. But yeah, let's head to the field and have a little look. So, can we actually navigate into the field? Just gonna do a bit of a. That's been okay with large equipment, large tractor and that. It's not so much the harvester itself, it's more of the size of the tractor. It's huge! But yeah, I think. How do we tackle this? Do we do headlands or. Okay, the pipe's coming out there on the right. Pipes coming out there on the right, so we need to go clockwise. No, sorry, anti-clockwise. So that's that. There we go. Yeah, I was gonna get himself. I think just on a straight bit here. There we go. That's turned on. That's turned on. And we are harvesting. I think we are. Yeah, we are. See the stubble texture there. And boy, that is filling up very quickly. Yeah, I'm not joking. That is very quick to fill up. Already out of fur, so. Boy, this is going to be an absolute pain to deal with. Maybe we should have gone some pelt, maybe? Oh, I don't know. So yeah, we're already at 60%. Yeah. I'm going to get a full pass in. Should, should turn the lights on because I can miss going off the edge here just a little bit. So, yeah, I think maybe. Actually, if I stop, yeah, that's still processing. So, we're going to need uh, some more equipment here. So, there we go. I think. This is the perfect spot for us. Let's go and grab the John Deere. Okay, let's go with the 410. Let's get that tree itself over. So, with the trace picked up, I've also gone and leased a fur trader. So, I think we've got a capacity of almost 100,000 years between our trader setup. Hence why I got the fence, because that's the last purpose of the fence is for the heavy tuber, like heavy holding and all that, so this should be interesting. Go into the fields, crash into the fields, get stuck in the fields, cut through the hedgerows into the fields, causing traffic blockage into the fields. And eventually we're into the field, so... But yeah, it's like... I am concerned on how long this is going to take us. I do really want to swap to a self propelled setup. Even though realistically it makes more sense. And especially if that happens. So yeah, we need to adjust this, so... Can we actually adjust it? Something's been adjusted, I can see the shadow marks, but... Is there a way of getting that pipe to lift up? No, 
just for the flaps. By the looks of it, no, that's a door. I thought there'd be a way to adjust the piping out on this, but if the tray's too high, then. Dang it. Yeah, that's the doors. What's the L? What's that adjusting? Something on the back of the tractor, perhaps? Ah, it's a stupid sunroof. I thought you can adjust this, but I'm guessing not. So, it looks like we're going to have to go with a self propelled setup. So, bloody hell, that's great. That's going to be even more expensive now. So, so, that plan backfired, so, thankfully we're at the dealership, so let's go down there and have a look on what they've got to offer us today. Alright, so no more messing around, we've got the Homer Teradoz T440, this has got a 5.4 metre header, so, now, we're able to do this properly. Foresight is a bit now, so let's just adjust the vehicle volume set. So, vehicle volume, or is that two? There we go, just adjust it down a little bit. And yeah, that is a lot better. Fortunately, the point is out on the other side, so. Let's just do one pass up here, along the street, and then yeah, we'll get this empty, so this holds 45,000 litres, so that is 39,000 litres more compared to what we had previously, and yeah, that means we're going to get this done a lot quicker, so, and yeah, I think the fair is we should have gone with this initially. Does this cost us five grand to lease out from the dealership? So, and it's only for today. It's not like we're having it for a month now. It's literally just for the rest of the week, rest of this game day. So, five grand is pretty expensive for that, but I'm guessing in hindsight, half a day is not too bad. I think once we do want to get to the top and we turn left, I think you know, we'll do a head and then that. We're going to definitely do a head and if we get this on a work here. But yeah, I said, what we need to do is get the pipe out and make some adjustments to this so that then when we do empty this, it doesn't hit the setup, so it doesn't hit the trailers or anything, so. Let's head up here. Maybe a bit slow now, but I think overall this is going to work out very well for us. Maybe you could go on with the sport traders like the Gloss one and that, or like the TARDIS one, had 20,000 years each, but with that, what we'll be end up doing at the end of the day is literally going back and forth to the farm side to store this because we've got nowhere to store it at the moment but look we do have that farm silo so that will help us out a lot but yeah so let's get the pipe out there we go let's go forward a bit and we'll go to Yes, literally, forget about the whole hedgerows thing. Is there a way to actually empty this? Not really, because it literally, you can see we're literally hitting. Oh, shut up. Yep, 
yeah, literally, there's no way to adjust that. If we could adjust that up a little bit, then yeah, that'd be really good for us, but uh, it was not to be at the end of the day. So, with this up here, we do have the capacity of two full loads at least, so that's a plus. Because you have know, about a 9,000 litre capacity. Well, I think about 100,000 was actually. Like 99, maybe 100 ish. But anywho, so if we say pulling alongside this. Oh, yeah, plenty of space. And what we can do is actually just this. There we go, that's better. See, that's what we needed, it was just that. Worker goes along. I'll just pull up inside and keep on doing this. There we go. Now that is what I'm talking about a proper setup there. And I think I've got the thumbnail for the episode. That is literally the best idea we've got. Ah, downside with the road train setup is the flexibility of the boost trailers. That's the only downside though. And this should the workers adjust that output already, so like the pipe outlet, so that's gonna mess us up a big bit there. But yeah, overall, it's working out really well. I did say he was going to do headers and that. But I think that the worker doing this for now, we'll see how it goes, see how it navigates this down here or so. But yeah, anyways, we all go and get all this done. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get this all sorted, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And yeah, we're going to have a lot of sugar here, for at least. Yeah, that's the plus side, we're going to have lots of sugar, so yeah. We'll get this done. I think I'll do it manually as well, for the most part. And I'll see you folks after us once we're done. And I'll see how much we'll have.
There we go, with our second load here, as we're trundling along here at uh, 30 miles an hour. Even with a 500 horsepower fence, 100,000 litres of sugar beet, it's still pretty heavy, as it turns out. Who would have thought about that? So, one thing I'm going to do quickly is return that and that. There we go. So, yeah, we've got a second load here. And that's all going to go into the farm, simple farm silo. And yeah, what we can do next is get sugar beet cut. There's a trailer that we can use for that, so if we want to get sugar beet cut, we can do that. But yeah, it all depends on what we can do here in terms with the production of our sugar in that. If the facility lets us use sugar beet cut, then I'll do a okay, half and half off. Half sugar beet cut and half sugar beet, then we can get double the output of sugar, but that isn't guaranteed. And I think what we do next is probably taking this back because, as you'll see now, you may see the time maps, it is very hard to navigate in and out of this area here. Because obviously, it's not redesigned for like a flow through system. It's so this year you go in and you reverse out almost, and that's what that's what it is. A little clip there. And yeah, we do struggle to get out of here, so I think once we get all this in, we'll just go and Yeah, I think we'll just use the trans 70 for now. Can get quite full two of those, but almost two of those is better than having to deal with this, like it all clipping in that. So yeah, if we have a look here, you see, that's our sugar beet there. And yeah, this is where it starts clipping that, it's really annoying. Actually as well, can return the tray, heck it, we'll do that as well. For that to empty, can't remember which one it is, so we're having a risk losing a load off sugar beet. I'll empty this. There we go. So, yeah, we should have 202,000 litres. Two hundred, well, 203, there we go. I think it was the middle one. Nope, it was the end one, so good thing I didn't do that. But yeah, Ingrid 2 just about get out of here doing the U-turn. I say just about, it's like the pallets are in the way though. There we go, come on. Ooh, just clipping the pallets there. But yep, for now we'll dump this over here. And let's get Trans 70 as we've got a full load of sugar beet here. And there we go. So, yeah, we've got the trailer here, and that is most of the sugar beet already done. So, I think what we'll just do is let the worker continue on with this. Because, you know, one thing I want to do is start cultivating some of our fields, as well as on the lines of get this fertilize as well before we do anything. There it goes. Choose to speed down. Six miles an hour. But yeah, with the worker now, it does seem to bring in that pipe there. Which is a downer, but still just about get there. It's a bit fitly, but it's doable. It is certainly doable. So there we go. So you've got this bit here to do. And strip down there. And I think the worker will be able to sort that out. Let's quick cut through here. That's what you think. But yeah, we'll let the worker continue on with that. And yeah, I should have close to what? 350, 400,000 litres of sugar beet. And that is going to be a lot of sugar for us 
I think it was it a five to one or a ten to one ratio for sugar beet to sugar. Or something on long news lines, but regardless. That is worth it and going with the self propelled sub in the end was worth it. May have cost us five grand to lease out. But it is definitely worth it. I almost hit the one hour mark, so but yeah, because what I want to do is get all the grass in now. Well, I say now, I mean like the second week of October and that. Because yeah, that we're going to get all sorted today because we are almost at 4 o'clock. And yet, yeah, sun's starting to set here, so. Yeah, so. What we'll just do is boop you over here. There we go. Get the cultivator hooked up. Because, yeah, we we'll, yeah, we'll can do direct drilling. And I think we will, actually. So I think if some of it we direct drill, and the rest we can just normal drill ourselves, speed up the process here. So we've got three fields here to do. If I get this one on the big field now, then yeah, it could be a good way to do a little comparison in between the two. We should have enough here. And I think the fields are already, yeah, they're already fertilized with that in the last episode, so this will be the final application it would require. is going in. And it is struggling. What's the horsepower requirement? 270. And what? That's 261. So we'll need the Massey or the other John Deere, but and yet the workers can Completed the task, so yeah, just about get it done. I'm not sure what is the working speed on this. Uh, nine miles an hour. Great hitting that. Uh, yeah, we're just about hitting, but I think when we come on the way back up, yeah, we're gonna definitely have some issues here. So yeah, anyways, let's get to work on that. Well, we'll finish this off ourselves, so yeah. Let's get the last of this done. And then we start looking at cult, start doing cultivation. Head into the next episode where we'll get all the grass planted. And yeah, then we'll start skipping ahead time, I think. Because now everything's done. This just needs to be fertilised and mulched. But besides from that, not much else is to doing on this field. So I think we'll convert this into grass as well, maybe.
we are done with the horsing and as I'm just quickly getting the heading done here just so that we can get a worker on and hopefully not have to worry about it going to the fields but yeah we're going to do like one pass like one line down before it gets stuck in the ditch so yeah that was very useful of the worker thank you very much uh, yes yeah, cross head row again heck yeah why not Clear line, we're going to miss bits, so let's get that properly in line. There we go, and just switch to John Deere. We've got the 6R here, so we can actually pull it decently. Grab you, get you hooked up to the fertilizer, and actually, also, we can return that. And luckily, it didn't have to occur any further payments on it. Got it done just within the hour. So, I should even really pay attention to that, but I am glad about that. So, if you work, I'm going to set the worker off. Just say go there and start. But, yeah, on to actually what we were doing the harvesting. Got additional 41,000 litres, and the trans made a huge difference. No downside is, which which I don't like about it is the braking, like when it's fully loaded, its braking distance is significantly increased. But yeah, overall, well, just well, between 300 and 350,000 litres, 315,000 litres almost, so actually from that, I'll say overall I wasn't too bad of a hole. Yeah, I've got our workers on the way. And now just to cultivate, cultivate, cultivate the fields. And yeah, what I'm gonna do with the cedar is actually only have it for less than an hour. It's right at 1.2 hours, so once it hits 1.9 hours, regardless of what it has or hasn't done, we will stop it and we'll just, if we need to, cultivate it. Unless we want to incur another payment, actually, we're in the position now where we can afford that extra hour payment, so for like the fields down there, we'll just need to work a bee on that and what it does, does what it does at the end of the day. I'm not too fussed on that. But yeah, so next time what we're gonna do is get the cookie factory in, get the sugar processed, and hopefully that we can get sugar and other things, get the milk sent over as well so that we can make some delicious cookies because yeah we do have strawberry and we can make strawberry cookies more or less straight away i do have to like market match our production a little bit because i can't set things to distribute because otherwise it's going to get sent to the other production chains we've got that we can use but so it'll be a case off it comes out i have to put it back in but you know what, that's I can live with, with that, to be honest, all things considering. But yeah, so anyways, I said that's what we're going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribing yet, then please consider. But for a to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's Farmer Ever Extreme, and I'll see you all. A very soon.